particularly myself, I don't think so. I don't think that I have had that kind of discrimination. Like, meaning, because you're a female, you can't perform this kind of job. I think in that regards, I have been fortunate that I have not experienced that. However, I know that there's people, you know, that have had um, that kind of experiences. But that also, I think, is something that is, you know, it's, um, it's still a lot of work to do, but it's becoming a little less. Uh, in uh, the uh, comp the um, nonprofit organization that I work here for 18 years, it was actually a female dominant company. So that was something very different for me because when I made that transition from the other previous job I had to this job, the previous job, you know, it was a male dominant corporation. Mm -hmm. And when I moved the transition to this nonprofit organization, it was actually female dominant. So that was very different, you know. We had only maybe a one, one male or two, if the most. And, but I think it was maybe because the type of job that it was performed, that at that point, it was always more towards female related, you know, because we have uh, provided services for children with special needs. So as a female, you know, you most of the time have automatically that kind of nurturing instinct more than male sometimes. So me, myself, I don't think that I felt that kind of issue. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's not just, I don't think it's just here in California, but I think that's just around the world, you know, that, um, uh, you know, females you know has to have certain kind of beauty you have to have certain kind of sizing in order to fit in into a society and I feel that even though that still exists in this day that women have been able to prove you know that you don't need to have a perfect size to be successful you know we have have so many already females that you know to me every female is beautiful because beauty comes in within you know and you're unique you know as a female in or as a male you know you are very unique but you don't have to be that perfect size in order to be a successful you know there's no need for that and I feel that I'm fortunate with, you know, now with social media, so giant technology, it's even worse in some way because, you know, we see a lot of young kids committing suicide because of what they feel that they have to meet this criteria so badly. And they feel that they're not beautiful and, you know, to the point that they have to go and take up their own life. That's just a very sad. But I think it's also um, in your own household, that's something that you have to bring awareness to your kids and, you know, teaching them respect, teaching them, you know, you have to respect life and you have to respect others. How can you respect others if you don't even respect yourself? So first of all, respect yourself so that you can respect others. And in that way, you know, you see the true beauty of another person, but not just what physically is, yeah. but what comes from within. I feel like I have accomplished so much than I even thought I could. And we have worked hard for that, um, you know, uh, raising a family, uh, be able to integrate myself to the community here, uh, that's an accomplishment. Uh, you uh, being able to feel valued, you know, I have donated my, my time and I have volunteered a lot for our school district. 
in many ways that I have possibly can. And people make you feel like they need more parents like you, you know? And that I think is, is an accomplishment. And having my sons to me is like one of my biggest achievements, my three boys and seeing them grow now two in college, one in high school. It's as a parent, it's what else can you ask for? You know, you just want to see them grow, succeed. And so that to me has been, you know, a big, big accomplishment. And of course, now having a title that says you are now officially naturalized United States citizen, it's definitely the you know ultimate achievement personally because it was a journey, it was a long process, but like I said, at the end, it doesn't matter the barriers you get through and it's worth it. Don't give up. You can never give up because you're here to make a difference and to make a change. And in order for you to be heard, you gotta speak. If you don't speak, nobody's gonna hear you. So that's something I learned early on. I, you know, even though growing up, my early child years, I was very, um, um, I didn't maybe verbalize much, you know, uh, whatever I was told, you know, whatever I was told to do, I would do, you know, by the book and try not to get out of context. Mm -hmm. However, as you start growing, you know, you start figuring things out and you start thinking different. And even though I was raised on girls only schools, we learn that um, you have value and that you gotta be strong and that you have to have, uh, you have to have, you have to be a female that it will stand out. I'm able to communicate, I'm able to express and I have done that and my voices have been heard I want to be a voice and if I can help of others I most definitely do there are always going to be barriers no matter what in any 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 way whether it's gender whether whether is um, uh, you know like you mentioned early you know uh, do you feel you look pretty you know do you you don't feel pretty there's always going to be little barriers but if you set your standards and uh, you go through those barriers, and most importantly, you speak up, then you will be heard and there will be a change. So I feel that, you know, females, in nowadays, a lot more females are more empowered. And we have seen a big transition in many places uh, whether it's uh, uh, one major in particular is politics. We had a lot. We have a lot more females involved in politics. Um, uh, also, for example, in uh, as uh, business women, we have a lot more women now being CEOs. Something that it didn't happen before, you know. So what I would say is, don't be afraid. If you fall, get up. Keep your head up and be strong, you know, and go through those barriers because it's worth it.